Hey guys, this is my new video of how to put a watermark for on your videos. Well, mainly a watermark is the an icon down here that, or anywhere on the screen you want that shows that you made it, and so no one can actually like download it and claim it's theirs. It's like a trademark thing that you got. Okay, the first thing you want to do is. That's my logo. That's my old logo. That's my new one, see? Okay, so first thing you want to do is open Photoshop or Fire CS or Adobe Fireworks or Photoshop. I use Paint.net. I'm up actually uploading a video of it right now of how to get it. It's a Photoshop for free. It's exactly the same. It's got everything. I'll explain everything in the other video. But uh, it's, it's exactly the same as for free and it's not illegal. So the first thing you want to do is open that. Then open your your logo. Okay, see? That's my logo. I'm going to zoom in a bit. And what you want to do is grab the magic wand. Just delete what you don't want there to be in the background. Just finish up. up. Okay. And delete that. And delete. Okay. So once you've done all that, you save it. Save as desktop but I'll save it as watermark I'll save it as a JPEG Wait. yeah JPEG save and okay ready you can close that put that down Okay, now we open Camtasia Studio, which is the program you use to put your watermark in. Okay, great. Now I need a video to show you how to do it. Let's see. I'll get this video. Okay, once you open Camtasia Studio, this will appear. Just press OK. And this. That's my video of how to get paint.net. You'll see it, hopefully. It'll be on my channel in some minutes. Well, it's already there, almost. So, what you want to do, after you've edited everything and you're ready to go, press produce video as. And select... Okay, so you're going to want to select custom production settings. Go on next. It will be selected here. I am doing it on AVI because last time I tried to put the watermark on W on Windows Media Video. I don't know why it didn't work. So I'll be doing it on AVI. Next. Just continue. Continue here. Here this will be unticked. I it's ticked in my video because I've already done it before. So it'll be like that. Include it. Go on options. Here, image path. This is where you want to choose it. So you double click on watermark, and there it is. Move this around. I'll leave it there. Okay, image scale. How big you want it to be? And it's just bring a color. Well, this is pretty bad image of mine. I think I got the wrong one. See? That's Okay, that's the one. So, leave it like that. 18%, 17%. I use it. I use it at 18%. And opacity is. See, there it gets more solid. There it goes invisible. I leave it at 50. 51. I don't know. I just leave it around there. Here you choose where you want it to be on the screen. Top, top left, left, bottom left, bottom. I usually leave it on the bottom right. Okay, ready to go. 
that's it. Next. Next. And here. Production name. I'll put it as watermark test. I'll save it to my desktop. And finish. It'll render your project. It, it takes a, a while, so I will pause the video and continue when it is finished. One more thing before this finishes. Uh, I use Camtasia Studio 6, uh, which you have to pay like around $200 or something. If you don't want to spend that money, get the 30-day trial, which you can do exactly what I'm doing now, but you have only 30 days to do it. Or if you have the Camtasia Studio 5, you can also do this. I think it's the same. I know you can put a watermark, but I don't know if it's the same. And well, I'll pause the video and continue. Okay, now the rendering is finishing. Okay, there it is. Put that down. Here. Watermark test. Test it. There it is. As you can see, there is the the watermark. No one can download your video and claim it is theirs. Subscribe, comment. I'll put my email at the end of this video so you can email me if you have any problems. And oh yeah, don't forget to watch this video that's uploading which is how to get paint.net really cool program for free exactly the same as photoshop but it's for free thanks for watching